So I'm gonna give you a little numbing drop here, like all the way up. So Preparacaine is a little bit better to use than Tetracaine. It doesn't kill off the bacteria as much as Tetracaine, but nonetheless, you know, that, that is something that you just have to kind of, you know, weigh the risks of. So to do a culture, you basically have um, different plates for different types of bacteria, and we have a fungal swab as well. Uh, but basically we got a blood culture, we have a chocolate, and we have thio. We basically we use a special spatula that's actually made of platinum called the Camora spatula. And the platinum is nice because it heats very quickly and cools very quickly so that we can sterilize it between sessions and make sure that we're only treating and only culturing what's on his eye, not what's lingering on the metal. Okay, perfect. Don't move. Keep him right there. and we just scrape. Removing epithelium is actually a good thing. It helps. It helps expose the area for the antibiotic. Make a little C pattern so that the pathologist can know that it's corneal tissue. Now for the thio and for the fungal plate, we basically take a clean cotton swab And we'll label that and we'll send those off to the lab. We usually get results in about five to seven days. Fungal cultures take a little bit longer and then we should get some sensitivities back if anything grows and that'll help us tailor our antibiotic treatment. Right now we're going to give him everything. We're going to give him fortified antibiotics, vancomycin, tobramycin, eye drops, as well as a subconjunctival gentamicin. Uh, that'll be double, double coverage for pseudomonas between the tobra and the gems. And then we'll get the cultures back up willing, and then we'll be able to see what sensitivities are actually there, whether or not this is what we suspect or something else, and then we'll alter our treatment, okay?